Hey guys, welcome to Musketeer. This is the third episode in the series Artificial Intelligence. In this episode, we will discuss about the levels of AI. Before we begin, let me tell you the difference between AlphaGo and AlphaGo Zero. AlphaGo is the AI developed by DeepMind, which is owned by Google. This AI plays the game Go. AlphaGo was trained based on various games played by humans and then it improved on itself by looking at those games and the results. However, AlphaGo Zero was not given any human played games. It was only given the rules to how to play and then it played against itself and improved its model about how to play the game Go. Finally, when AlphaGo and AlphaGo Zero were put on to compete with each other, guess who won? AlphaGo Zero won. It won all the games. Does it mean that humans are not good at playing Go? Relatively, it is possible. Now let's dig deep into the levels of AI. There are three major levels of AI. The first one is artificial narrow intelligence. Second one is artificial general intelligence. And the third one is artificial super intelligence. They are abbreviated as ANI, AGI and ASI. Let's look at artificial narrow intelligence or ANI. An assembly line robot in a car manufacturing company like Tesla can weld, can paint. It can do these tasks better than humans can. It surpasses humans in its speed, dexterity and accuracy. They can do these tasks very well, but they cannot do anything else. If you wanted to play the game Go, it cannot. We have advanced artificial narrow intelligence in several fields. Some examples of ANI are self-driving cars, chatbots, Siri, AlphaGo, autopilot in an airplane, etc. Even if we code all the skills that humans can do physically into an Android, it is very skillful, but it is not intelligent. In the first episode, if you remember, we discussed about what intelligence is. Let us do a quick recap. Learning from experiences, adapting to new situations, understanding and handling abstract concepts, using knowledge to manipulate one's own environment. If a machine can do these, then it can be called artificial general intelligence or AGI. What can AGI do? It can do everything that humans can do. Logical reasoning, thinking, creativity, strategy, learning a skill on its own. It can identify knowledge resources on its own. And it can create movies and it can also do scientific research. Some scientists say that it is never possible for a machine to do all these. Some others disagree. What about you? Let me know in the comments. And I promise you that I'll make an episode on what we are doing to progress towards AGI. Think about what we do in a typical week. Apart from learning and contributing to the humanity's progress, we have to sleep, we get bored, we get tired, we have to eat, we have to do our daily routines, we have to have fun. Imagine a machine that is as intelligent as we are. It need not do all these things. It need not sleep. It doesn't get bored. It can do all the work all the time. And also, we are human and we have a skull that limits the size of our brain and we can do only a few computations. But look at an artificially generally intelligent computer. If it has access to the data centers and the GPUs and TensorFlow GPUs, then imagine how much research can it do in a single week. Experts like Nick Bostrom in the field of AI predict that in a matter of single week, AGI can perform the scientific research of 20,000 years. Imagine how much we have developed in the last one century and what could 20,000 years of research can enlighten the AGI with. Given a high-speed network and good computational capacity, AGI can watch all of the YouTube videos, can do every course on Udemy and Coursera, 
can read everything on Wikipedia in a matter of hours. Imagine how many skills it would learn and imagine how many strategies and creations it can come up with. In a matter of days, it can improve itself and surpass humans into the next level of intelligence. This is called artificial super intelligence. You might have seen a gorilla in a cage. They are stronger than us, but still we could confine them. What would be the reason? We are slightly more intelligent than a gorilla. We are just 100 IQ points more than a gorilla, but we can still choose to cage them. Look at how much difference that 100 points in IQ make. What do you think would be the IQ of a artificially super intelligent machine? Would it help us? Would it hurt us? Or would it ignore us? Please leave your comments so that we'll have a great discussion. Thank you. Have a great day. This is your Musketeer signing off.